Hi, you are welcome once again to the Smart Way Lectures on the Science Ambassador Series. This is a series of lectures we are running on all the areas in science. And today we are here with you to continue on thermochemistry. Now, uh, we are going to look at the standard entropy of combustion. In our last lectures, we looked at the theoretical concept of it. We did some, some calculations and we saw how the formulas are related. Today, we are going to look at the practical measurement of the heat evolved in the process of combusting or burning a material in what? In oxygen. We are going to help you to quantify this material. What mathematics, okay, do we do in order to calculate the amount of energy liberated when one mole of a substance is burning what excess oxygen? So we are going to do the practical measurement of it. Now, let's quickly look at what we did last time so that we relate you to this measurement. Okay, let's look at that. Now, in our last lecture, we said that we can burn one mole of, okay, alcohol. This is an alcohol, one mole of alcohol. Can burn one mole of alcohol. Okay. In excess oxygen. In excess oxygen. Now, that is a gas. Alcohol comes in a liquid form. And when I burn it, okay, I will break all the carbons away. And then the carbon will transform to carbon dioxide and I'll bring the, the hydrogens away from the alcohol and they will also be transformed to what? To water. Okay. That's okay. Vapor. So it will be the water vapor. So it will be in a gaseous state. So here we were able to do that. And we said that mathematically, okay, if you want to find the energy that is liberated when one mole of this alcohol. So this is an alcohol, don't forget. This is an alcohol. And in this alcohol, okay. The, this quantity of alcohol will liberate a certain kind of energy when burning what in 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 oxygen and the energy we accounted the energy by giving you the formula that there is this equal to equal to this the entropy chain will be proportional to the entropy of what of the, the standard entropy of combustion of the one mole of the what of the alcohol okay of the one mole of the alcohol of the alcohol now the reason why I'm writing that one first is that for all chemical reaction, the entropy change, okay, is the what is the sum of all reactants away from the sum of the all product. But for this reaction, it is a combustion reaction. So the entropy change is equal to the standard entropy of combustion, which is equal to the sum of all the entropy of the reactants away from the sum of all the entropy of the, the product. So quickly, how many products do we have here? We have two products so, so i'm going to add the two okay uh standard entropy of what that is the formation so i'm going to do the formation of that okay go to the formation of that and then uh plus this one too i'm also going to do that formation of that formation of that sorry so standard entropy of formation, standard entropy, the symbol must come. Formation of what? Of water. Standard entropy of formation of water. Water. I'll balance the equation, I'll put the mole, the mole there. Okay. Balance the equation, I'll put the mole there. So formation of water. And so last lecture we balanced it. Realize that here we had two over here. And then here we had uh, uh, three over here. Okay. And then here we place uh, 6 over 2. In our last lecture, we balanced it already. So I'm just going to put the numbers there. And so we said that uh, during the process, entropy is proportional to amount of substance in the reaction. And so therefore, it is very important that for carbon dioxide, you have to know the amount of carbon dioxide okay, that is formed. And then you have to know the amount of water that is also formed. Okay, You have to multiply it. They will give you the values. You just have to make sure that you balance the equation, multiply the what? The values by the formations okay of the reactant and the product and then you quickly take it away from the sum of the entropy of all the what the reactant here is the reactant and so the start of the sum of the entropy of formation of the reactant which is this okay that is 5 o 
okay and then plus the stem of the entropy okay the standard entropy of formation of what of the oxygen okay the oxygen here we have uh, that is a uh, six over two moles of oxygen so it's very important that I put it there okay put it there so quickly I have that over there so that is what it is very simple now this in this case what we are saying is that the change in the and the change in the energy okay this change is what will be liberated to the surrounding and so we said that the entropy chain is the amount of energy liberated and the amount of energy liberated okay after burning the substance okay is the difference between the reactant and the product now we are saying that we are going to quantify this energy now this is what you do the one mole of the ethanol which has a mass of 46 grams okay is used as a fuel, fuel and it is burned okay it is burned okay it is burned completely and during the process of burning the the 46 grams okay what basically happened that it will what it will give off heat and this heat will be trapped by the water the heat here will be trapped by the water so you can see the here we have water that is sitting on top of the fire over here we have water here that is sitting on top of the fire this is a water in the beaker okay this is water in the beaker and it has been covered and this is a thermometer inside so all what you do is that what you put the water in the beaker you put the thermometer inside and then you would place it over the burning what uh, uh, ethanol over the burning ethanol and you wait for all the mass for all the uh, the, the mass to be burned completely okay you wait for all the mass to be burned completely and this heat will raise the temperature of the ethanol it, sorry to raise the temperature of the water inside there now this is done in a what in a closed system where the heat is not lost to the surrounding so it is assumed that the heat that is uh, that is coming from the fuel that is, is coming from the ethanol okay from the burning ethanol is all transferred to the what to the water okay it's all transferred to the water that to, to boil the water okay so and then the change in the temperature of the water is now what is used to calculate the energy that what that comes out whilst the the, the ethanol was burning in what in oxygen remember that the atmosphere has oxygen and then the, this is the ethanol and so you are burning the ethanol in the presence of what the excess oxygen in the atmosphere and for one mole, all these ethanol must be used, uh, okay, for the energy, okay, coming out to heat the water. Now, the change in the temperature of the water is now what we use to, what, to calculate that. And in the theory, remember that we said that for the first law of thermodynamics, we say that the energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but it can be transferred. So, the energy that comes from the reaction will, will be taken up by the, by the water to become the heat energy. So by doing that, you can calculate the heat that is what liberated anytime you are burning the what the ethanol. So it's a very simple thing. So enthalpy of combustion. So mathematically, what do we do? Okay. So what do we do? The enthalpy of combustion as the enthalpy of combustion. Enthalpy of what combustion? So mathematicals will do entropy of what of combustion entropy of combustion okay to do that you have to know the heat that is absorbed by the water you have to to do that you have to know the heat absorbed by the water you have to know the heat okay absorbed or gained by the water the heat absorbed by the water absorbed by by the water okay on top of the burning ethanol okay and you divide it by the quantity if you divide by the quantity of the ethanol that is burned this time we are burning one mole of the ethanol we are burning one mole of the ethanol so that is what we, we do one mole of the ethanol that is the alcohol so you just the, the entropy of combustion is the heat absorbed by the water divided by what by the one mole of the what of the ethanol so quickly let's look at that now 
in our theory in our second video we explained that the heat loss from a reaction the heat loss from a reaction is always equal to the heat gain by other systems or reactants or products so heat loss is equal to heat gain since the first law of thermodynamics says that energy can neither be created nor destroyed we don't add or subtract heat from a reaction but rather it is rather transformed from one form to na to to what to another and so here you can see that the heat that will be liberated by the burning of the ethanol okay is the same amount of heat that will be absorbed by the water and so by knowing the mathematical relation you can find the heat that will be absorbed by the water and so the heat lost by the ethanol okay during the process of burning will be equal to the heat gained by the ethanol now this is a very simple thing i am burning ethanol and the heat coming out from the ethanol i'm using it to what to heat up water so the heat coming from the ethanol will be proportional to the heat taken by the water by the water and so and we did that that to calculate the heat to calculate the heat of a reaction the quantity of heat of a reaction okay so quantity of heat of a reaction is only determined using knowing the specific heat capacity of the medium times the what the mass of the medium times the what times the change in what in temperature of the medium have you gotten that so if you want to find the enthalpy for the reaction you want to find the enthalpy of combustion enthalpy of what of combustion we want to find the enthalpy of combustion of the ethanol the i have to just find the amount of heat absorbed that is heat the heat that is absorbed or gained by the water during the burning of the ethanol so the heat gained by the water the heat what gained by the water heat what gain by water all over the quantity or the mole of the ethanol burn the mole of the ethanol mole of what mole of ethanol have you gotten that and now we know the heat ethanol so to calculate the heat gain by the what by the water you, you just use this word equation uh, you'll be given the specific heat capacity of the world of the water and then you multiply it times the mass of the water that is absorbing the what the heat coming out from the burning and then the change in temperature of the water that is before the, the heating of the water and after the heating of the water okay so that you do that so we are going to get a change in temperature then divide by the what the mole of the ethanol so you divide by the mole of the ethanol, divide by the mole, okay, so you divide by the mole of the ethanol. So, it is a very simple thing. So, in the process of burning once again, when you burn the one mole of ethanol completely in excess oxygen, it will liberate or give off heat to the surrounding. The heat here will be used to heat up water. So, assuming that there is no heat loss to the surrounding, the quantity of heat that will come out, okay, that that will be liberated whilst burning the fuel inside is proportional to the heat that will be gained by the water and so therefore if i know the heat gained by the water then i can then divide it by the quantity of the ethanol that is burned in that case i'm getting the word enthalpy and so you realize that the unit for enthalpy is what is joules okay per mole okay it joules per mole it joules per mole or if you want you can also do it in kilojoules per mole so that is it so the heat over the amount of substance that is burned so that is what we have so very very simple thing okay to do so once again in order to find the if in order to experimentally measure the heat of combustion for instance if you have a fuel and you want to burn it okay and you want to find the heat that will be evolved whilst burning it you then you just to have a cold water you put it on top of the what of the flame okay and then you will record the initial temperature t1 have you gotten that and then after burning the quantity of the ethanol or burning the fuel you call the final temperature and then we will yet use the the equation by saying that the heat loss during the process of burning is the same as the heat gain by the what by the water 
have you gotten that and by mathematics the heat okay of every reaction is the mass of the specific capacity of the medium times the mass of the medium times the change in temperature so since this is the heat of a reaction the heat gained by the water is proportional to the specific capacity of the water of the water times the mass of the water inside okay uh, taking up the heat from the from 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 the bottom and then times the what the change temperature and then you now divide it by the what the quantity of mole that you have and then you get what to call the what the entropy of combustion now there's also another way around we can also use what to call the bomb calorimeter in that case if you want to use the bomb calorimeter the food usually we use for food substances okay now the substance is placed inside so the one mole of the substance is placed inside this time let's take glucose let's say glucose okay let's say glucose so we realize that here one mole of glucose is placed inside okay so and i said that one mole of glucose is equivalent to what 180 what okay grams so you just put 180 grams inside these small systems okay inside this small system now surrounding this system is what is water surrounding this system is water okay so i have water here that is surrounding a smaller system inside so we have two like two okay uh, systems we have a smaller system that is just a container inside and we have what a bigger container the smaller container is the system and around it is the what is the water so what i'll do is that i will heat up the what the glucose so by using what called by electrical means i'll heat up the glucose and then the uh, in the presence of oxygen remember this small container is having oxygen inside so there's oxygen inside so the oxygen will burn this what glucose inside and in the process of burning the heat will be given out to the surrounding heat will be given out what to the surrounding and so what happened now whilst the 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 glucose is burning heat is given to the surrounding and the surrounding is the water and then the can over here to find the enthalpy to find the enthalpy of combustion find the enthalpy of what combustion Find the entropy of combustion uh, whilst we are burning you see whilst we are burning the food substance inside it is giving off heat the heat is taken by the surrounding water and also the, the what the can and also the can so here let's assume that the can here is a metal so this metal also take up what heat and then the remaining heat what will go to the to the water so the heat that will be lost during the process of burning the glucose Will be the same as the heat taken by the metal can over here and then the surrounding and so we are going to get the entropy of combustion for this particular one if you are using the bomb calorimeter then it is that it is a heat word it is a heat word okay gain the heat gain by the can the heat gain by the can that is the heat gain by the copper can have you gotten that the heat gained by the copper can plus the heat what gained by the water heat gained by the what by the water by the water have you gotten that now divided by the amount of what divided by the mole of the glucose band divided by the mole of glucose have you gotten that divided by the mole of glucose Divided by the mole of glucose. Have you got that? So, so divided by the mole of the glucose. So, for the entropy of combustion, if you are using the bomb calorimeter, then it means that after blasting the food, okay, the food will give off heat, okay, the reaction will give off heat, and the metal can, okay, will take up heat, and then the remaining will be given what to the water. So the blast is taking place inside the water. The blast is taking place inside the water and then the heat given after the blast is absorbed by the water and then the can okay around the what the reaction and so if you add the heat taken by the water plus the heat okay taken by the can then and you divide it by the mole of the substance blasted then it means that you can find the entropy of combustion so this is how the bomb calorimeter work okay and in mathematics i just as i told you that you just have to find the specific capacity of the copper okay times the mass of the copper surrounding the food
times the mass of the copper or times the what the change what in temperature and then you add it to what to the heat of the water so the mass of the water that's the specific capacity of the water times the mass of the what of the water times the change in temperature of the what of the water have you gotten that all divided by the mole of subs uh, the mole of the glucose band so one mole of glucose that is a mole of glucose band mole of what mole of glucose have you gotten that mole of glucose band so this is how the whole reaction work this is how the whole reaction work okay it's a very simple step so for the bond carometer the food substance is blasted inside and the heat given out is taken by the metal can and then the what and the water and so by adding the heat taken by the water plus the heat taken by the what by the can and dividing by the mole of the substance you get what you call the entropy of combustion if it's for if, if it is standard then you have to heat one mole of the glucose and then to do that so i'll end the lecture here and in, in our next lectures we'll be looking at some questions okay so that we can better understand this concept thank you